This is my hydrogen generator for latest project. This one here will go in the Volkswagen. I'm drawing less than 5 amps. In fact, if you look at the meter, it, it's hard to say. It could be 2 or 3 amps. It's been running for 4 hours and 25 minutes. And the temperature on it might be 90 degrees. It's not even not even really good warm. The, flu the air bubbles are carrying fluid with it up to the tank. I have a spigot a nipple on the other side about halfway up on the tank and it goes in there. Water that's withdrawn comes back down here and connects by way of this nipple, this fitting, and goes inside the unit. So it's getting cooler water here. The hotter water is coming out at the top and going up through this hose. I've coiled the hose so you can see the bubble activity and the bubbles are carrying water. So it has its own built-in pumping action. It's pumping water up to the unit and I'm using a gas tank, a uh, plastic gas can. I've JB welded some fittings on there so they won't move or have a leak in any, at any given time. There are probably other ways to do this that are better but that's my way. And at the top to prevent splashing from the car motion and hitting bumps I've put a long neck up there. This is sealed off. The only only air that can come out is to the top. This will go to the motor. I have a check valve up there to stop uh, water being drawn out of the bubbler. This is connected to the bubbler. This is the bubbler down here. You see the bubbles coming up. And I've got a little neon light behind it so you can see it better. But the long neck I have with a large hollow tube will prevent it siphoning formula or electrolyte out of the unit towards the intake and if it did happen to get a little vapor the bubbler would catch it right here the bubbler I made from a rubber made container this is the inlet hose here and the outlet is connected to the flip top if it did have a backfire it would blow the top open and flip it open to prevent uh, a backfire from getting to the unit and blowing the unit up. So this is the safeties I've built in. This is a real stat, but I have it disconnected. I'm running full amperage, so I'm running a very weak electrolyte right now. I've got a car battery connected down here, and the car battery is connected to a charger battery charger so they're all working in unison together I've been doing this, this thing now going on close to four and a half four hours and thirty minutes and it's still not hot so this is a unit I could turn it up more aggressively draw maybe even 20 amps if I wanted to the car it's going into has a 30 amp generator so I won't push 20 amps but if I wanted to I could drive all the way across Texas and not overheat this unit now this is uh, a prototype of one, a bigger one I'm going to put in my Gremlin. This is going into a 67 VW Beetle. And so this pumping action of the water going through there will keep this thing from getting hot. I'll mount this under the back seat. It's going to have a cap on it so if somebody heavy sits on the seat it won't short out on the electrodes. It'll have a PVC protective cap that's going to go here. This thermometer I've got here uh, it's just taped there to show temperature as you can see it go, only starts at 130 and it hasn't even the needle is way below that hasn't even moved but uh, that'll be removed I won't need that thermometer anymore and this right here, right here will go high over the transmission in on that luggage area in the back of the beetle and that hose here will connect up to the engine by way of a hose it's, this hose I mean here will connect up to the engine by way of the same hose it's already there from the previous hydrogen generator. The difference will be I'm going to add this bubbler. Just wanted to share that with everybody. I'm real proud of this unit. I've never I've never built one that drew this small amount of amps that produced this much gas. Uh, if you want to see how the plates were made and what I did you'll have to look at my pictures at my website and uh, that's performancempg.com and this this will be posted in pictures with more detail on the construction of it I just wanted to film the function and how it's work working and this unit is working very very well thank you